A drop in the rates of graffiti vandalism in Townsville has been linked to the success of a youth justice correction program. Community-based orders have allowed offenders to show off their street art skill. A boring bus driver depot has come alive with colour. A convicted tag has joined street artists in the collaboration. The design's inspired by the local landscape, so the palm trees, the fact that it's here by the water, um, reflecting sort of the sunset, sunrise. There'll be some birds going on. For a year and a half, taggers under the age of 18 have been handed artistic-inspired community orders. In the past year, illegal graffiti rates have dropped about 25%. By involving them in projects like this, we're really trying to get them to think in a different way about doing graffiti and have a bit more pride in their community. The problem is visible across Townsville. An effort to liven up Murray Skate Park was targeted by taggers to the disappointment of its users. It's just bad that people are coming in here and wrecking it for like the people that have done it and put all their effort into it. So that's a bit of a bugger. But there's always going to be kids that want to go and do that and that's OK. But if we can try and help provide opportunities. One opportunity for people wanting to show off their spray can skill is a free wall at Aikenvale. By contacting North Queensland's Youth Network, artists can be allocated their own concrete canvas. I think it's about educating um, our, our youth of... Uh, of our society about different ways of expressing themselves. This is giving them that, that real kudos back into our community. We've already had comments about how great it looks rather than having a beige coloured building. Ted O'Connor, Win News.